let the sword accompany you. In the name of Jesus, let these two swords accompany you. Hope. In honor they're distributing swords. We have not finished dealing with salt. We have not finished dealing with olive oil. We have not finished dealing with bread and ribina. They have they have introduced sword. A basin book. When will this? When will these people be satisfied with Jesus? Must they have toys? Must they always carry toys? That is the problem with men who do not have revelation knowledge. They can never be satisfied with using articles. We have not finished with bread, ribina, olive oil, water, feet washing, blood or sprinkling. We never finish all that one. Now it is sword. Say, come brother, take the sword. The sword of the Lord. When you lift it up, I just say, O oh Lord, unto whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Fire will burn from everywhere. <laughs> May God give you understanding. <laughs> we have not finished <laughs> with the other year, year things that they brought to the body. They are adding more things. But that day is over. Even the unbeliever knows that those things are fallacies. They are what? They are fallacies. They have no spiritual relevance. And that's why we're shouting and we will shout more. And I have news for you. Many are coming to the knowledge of the truth. How many of you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah, many are coming. Okay, so that is what Pastor Abba Damina had to say. Sorry, I couldn't stop myself from laughing. I'm human just like you. When I look at this thing, see, if you have followed me for over at least a year, you have seen many times that many pastors, I am yet to find any yet that have not in their pulpits, maybe during their preaching, you know, take a swipe on someone. This day I was watching Hubert Angel taking a swipe on TD Jakes with his interview and all. I've seen many of that, like, many pastors not as if they come to preach about this person but while they are preaching along the line they take a swipe of this happening here this happening here or talk about this pastor or this pastor some may not call names but they talk about oh this happened here you that is listening will know what exactly they are talking about even though they are not being specific what the point i'm trying to make with this is that your pastors are human beings they know what is happening they are aware of what is the news around or what is happening here or what is happening there most of them are following this page most of them are watching me korokolo maybe you are the one watching me right now the point is that with what he's saying where i get to agree with pastor about damina is that of course it has no quote unquote spiritual relevance even though it's to the giver and to the receiver, it has some spiritual significance. But when you look at it scripturally, <laughs> it was just so funny when I saw, <laughs> I was laughing, please. Let me play this video by, <laughs> let me play this video by Pastor Boateng. Formally, the next thing you're going to hear is that, or even now, I'm sure it is going to happen. You will see young ministers, so long as they see a senior minister of god a respected minister of god introduced something like a sword and he said this is powerful this will deliver you this will keep you from trouble all of them are going to go to the market or go anywhere they can get a sword and buy them and hang them in their offices and hang them in their churches and in their houses as a sign of power and i will not be surprised that many young ministers have gone for their own source already to depict what they saw the archbishop do with time someone will get a catapult someone will get another thing that is seen in the bible and they will say david used a catapult to bring Goliath down so this catapult is an anointed catapult and they will begin to say prayers and directions with it all these things are excesses they are in the peripheral they are things that are not supposed to be drawn into christ <laughs> is a catapult <laughs> <laughs> you have seen things on this page you have seen a lot of different things so the point right here is that even though pastor Ebel Abina is very controversial with his teachings and some things he teaches i would say myself they don't make 
biblical sense some things he teaches are things that make you get to think like last time he was talking about you know the whole issue of clapping in church and not clapping in church just some weird things he comes up with one thing i know him for a fact is that of course he's very you know he's an intelligent man you can't question that particular fact and when it comes to his eloquence and him you know just like you see me some of you see me as your enemy so right now i talk about controversial things so I, I jump into trends of what i see happening in church or maybe in politics or in the society i talk about them you have a problem with that but here is a pastor talking about this as well or oh, you will not have a problem with that if it is your pastor that is talking about another pastor like we have seen many times last time was pastor moses alo playing damina's message in his church and then using his message to in a way criticize him and preach to his audience and all so if you get to understand the body of christ as i understand it you see that whatever is happening whether it is in any church or whatever you are concerned because you are part of a body so it's not more of like a mind your business mind your business kind of thing but of course so far as we are in a social world right now where everyone is putting out their whatever on social media everyone has an opinion think about it for a minute i, I just see so wonder why some people don't think think about it for a moment you are watching this video right now there is a comment section there is a like and a dislike button there is a share button so far as you decide to make what you do in your space public and social you are putting yourself out there to be liked, disliked, or commentaries given on the things you are doing. Just that the difference between you and I is that George makes videos about what he sees. Maybe you can only type about what you see or something. The thing with this particular sort situation like we looked at in our previous video is the reference point or what is going to mean in the next five, six 10 20 years if god tarries if we are still around by that time because right now what is already being used for the whole prayer look okay, look at archbishop duncan williams right here praying with the sword in his own church we lift up the sword of the lord wherever they are let the sword of the lord persecute them let the sword of the lord persecute them persecute them on their bed persecute them on their pillows persecute them in the air persecute them on the land persecute them in the rivers persecute them under the water let the sword of the lord go after them go after them put your hands to command the commander sword command the sword give the sword a charge give the sword a command as i lift it up to go after them now give the sword a charge 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 and the command in the name of Jesus to go after them wherever they are let the sword of the Lord go after them let the sword of the Lord cut through let there be a massacre a divine massacre a divine massacre and all sort of the wicked in town by the sword of vengeance so he gets to lift up the sword and then tell people to pray and charge the sword that the sword should go and tomorrow right now maybe someone holding that sword maybe after him when he's gone or something it becomes more of like a relic it becomes it now becomes a form of idolatry that when he wants to pray some kind of prayer he has to bring out the sword and tell people to charge the sword and then pray and command the sword to do what tomorrow right now people but tomorrow you might see it being that people will start looking for things of symbolic significance to be sharing to each other there's nothing wrong you can give these souvenirs this would have not been a public discussion had it been he gave it to them the way he said he gave it to reverend eastwood privately because i could, i didn't see a public show of him giving the assault to eastwood but for him to give it publicly to Salman and then jerese like i always tell you relevance by association i don't know if you understand so with that that is why it's becoming a discussion right now what why didn't he just give it to them privately after the whole meeting why did he have to make a public show of it and do you know those who are watching upcoming ones right now that are watching that are seeing what they are seeing right now people are now writing books tomorrow right now they're going to write god's generals nigeria mm -hmm. 
they will write oh the time that duncan williams handed over his sword of this to this person this way tomorrow right now let's say years to come right now it's gonna be a story a legend or no i won't say a legend it's gonna be a big story in a book or somewhere that once upon a time as we saw duncan williams was passing around swords sorts of this or sorts of that and because of this sword this is happening this is happening i won't you i won't be surprised for that to happen so already if you can see people already raising the swords and praying the way they're praying people might look at the bishop there that has two already who knows whether he's going to have three four five one day you come some you put one sword in his mouth one sword in his uh, armpit or other sword here maybe one in between his legs and say as i raise all these swords may all these swords go and fight for you may all these... just imagine what is just imagine the imagine you understand so pastor Ebo Damina makes sense but putting it in that box because this sword right now is not as if they were sold to them the swords were given to them as more of like a gift as a souvenir like i talked about but putting it in the category of all those who are selling swords olive oil and this and this and all that it, it can be perfectly put in that category but of course all of us know pastor Ebo Damina he jumps on it like every other thing makes his own comments you know and this is just the result of these things you see being displayed all these acts we see being displayed well you could tell me what you think about what pastor Abel damina had to say i hope to see you in my next video and uh take good care of yourself if you don't get it one day forget about it one day one day to know me a shoe Yeah.